Hi Gemini, welcome back to your channel. Welcome back to the channel Gemini. It's always a blessing to have you guys here. Now if it is your first time here, I welcome you. And if it is your, and if you're returning back, I welcome you guys back with open arms. You know you're a diamond, please continue to shine bright and beautiful like a diamond. All right you guys, this is going to be your Gemini read and this is going to be your next 48 hours. I wanted to do a no contact, you guys, but we're going to do a 48, right? All right, you guys, so let's get into a pray because on this channel, a prayer is always a must. I hate the ring light that's showing, so I'm going to go ahead and close that up. We don't need that ring light. Okay, that's better. All right, you guys, so let's get into a pray. Tap into your energy and pull these, this next 44 hours right on in let's pray heavenly fathers i come before you ask for your blessings for myself and for my secrets heavenly father please send the most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as a vessel giving me the right words and also giving me the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know heavenly father i do give you all the honor and all the praise in jesus name we pray amen all right so Gemini, for your next 48 hours, just know that this reading is a general reading. Um, it's not a personal one. So with that being said, it may resonate with you. And then again, it may not. Please take what does resonate with you and leave the rest, you guys. Okay. The roles could be reversed at any given time because it's a general, not a personal. Now, the cross watchers who are watching, just know that the same applies for you guys as well okay um also if you are interested in having a personal reading with me you can always connect with me using the information that i provided for you guys and that will definitely be in the description part of today's video to schedule your appointment oh, let's get this up here let's get that up here all right you guys right, let's go ahead and get you some messages in this is going to be your next 48 hours. All right, angels, let's get to work, please, for Gemini. Gemini, next 48. What is the next 48? What's the next 48? What is the next 48? Okay, the next 48 is your strength. Your strength came through. So I really feel like right now, because your strength card is really active or act, being activated here, I really feel like you're either dealing with a situation here that's require extra um, either focus or, you know, you're just trying to really resonate to source. Maybe there's something in the energy or something around you that may be distracting you or, you know, you're just putting up with a lot of things that you're trying to put away from or get away from. I'm hearing that the universe is at play at this particular moment. What is the strength here? What is this about? Oh, weak. Yeah, so whatever this is, it's really making you feel weak. It's making you feel like you can't carry this load anymore. Um, it's making, or, or, or something here is just making you feel kind of out of place. Can you please listen? Oh, that situation is really taking a toll. I feel like whatever is going on here, Gemini, your next 48 hours is really kind of gravitating to something where you're not able to have someone kind of hear you out. Um, someone is just night or day or this person does not want to communicate or you're just having a hard time you know, you know kind of explaining how you feel um, about uh, maybe you're hurting um, you're just not ha having a hard time able to have this person to see um, how you're really feeling about what is it that they may or may not be doing I mean unexpected income so this could be about money all right this could be about a situation where you feel like the income needs to be changed or rectified or something like I'm seeing something been given here is this okay so this could be something about a child it could be child support for some of you you're working over time here this is what i'm seeing a lot of work been putting in um yeah there's high honors here so you're about to either get a raise or something someone is working overtime someone's about to be either promoted 
I feel like, you know, you're putting in a lot. Not only is uh, I'm feeling a lot been put in the next 48 hours, making me feel like someone is either wanting you to feel weak or this is how you're really feeling. Because someone is not trying to listen. Maybe being hard-headed or stubborn. I feel like you're over this. It's kind of a feeling. I feel like you're over it. All right, so this is the house. So there's a main man or wealthy man or something that has to do with this home here. I feel like this person feels like they're helping but not helping all at the same time. Whatever this, this person is. Okay, yeah, and again, yeah, this person is one who maybe wants to kind of give you some kind of an unexpected income or something, some kind of a change because you're working so hard here. Maybe you just have children where you're trying to provide for these children or... Or maybe someone is not there. Maybe there's an absentee parent. This parent is able to assist but choose not to. Sudden wealth. So I feel like whatever is happening here, you're about to kind of change the situation. The situation is either unfolding or changing or um, however you want it. Everyone is not the same though. You're either feeling like you're fighting a battle with a lot of people here that's really not resonate with you. Fake account spying hard. Wow. Somebody spying? This could be social media. I hope you forgive me. So there's a lot of forgiveness that is coming through here. Um, Whatever's going on here, I do feel like, you know, you may either feel like somebody is being fake or phony or just a snake, a rat. I feel like somebody's about to be trapped in something. Um, but I feel like whoever's about to be trapped or already, maybe they already are. This person is just peeking through windows here at this point. Causing problem, causing conflicts, causing tension here. Um, maybe this person is kind of putting your name in the mud. Next 48. Your thoughts. Listen to it. It's always right. It's the way to go. So for some of you, your intuition already tells you that something is odd with your situation. For some of you, you may be looking for some kind of a clarity. But you need to call on your angels because the time is right now to seize all situation. All situation that doesn't resonate with you at this moment. Or whatever that's pulling in. Something that is need to be either let go or set free or something. Alright, so there's a lie. So whoever this person is or whatever the situation is, I'm hearing lies. So lies were definitely being told, you guys. And I feel like somebody knows at this point that the lies got in the way of you being with this person, of a connection being together. This is what I'm seeing. I'm so sorry I hurt you. So this person is very sorry that they hurt you. But maybe you're waiting for them to kind of say it, but they're not saying. Yeah, there's a lot of hurt. I feel like with this entire situation, you're either going to have to take the lead here because you're constantly feeling like this person promises is an empty cup. Don't be afraid to try something new. Maybe this is something new, something new that is needed to be done here. Uh, because someone is, as I'm hearing, time has come to change. <clears throat> there's time that's coming to change or time is needed or something. Okay. Again, I'm hearing everyone is not the same. So why do I feel like somebody is focused on kind of feeling like everyone around them is like the same or you feel like everyone did either use you or everyone kind of did kind of wasn't there to support you or just kind of give you clarity or you just felt like every, everyone was just messing up what you was trying to build here. For sure they know they fucked up though. So whoever these people are, I'm hearing you should just let that go for real. Because they know that they're guilty for what they did. No more playing games. That is a period. Okay. No more playing games here. There's too many things going on with this entire situation. And I feel like, you know, at this point, you know that certain things doesn't resonate with you because it's a mystery. Or somebody's just dealing with a situation that is full service or needs to be. Some, some of you is dealing with constant strangers here. But I am, I'm hearing a cash at beggar. So somebody's... Is as being as somebody has been violating cash app. Maybe you send somebody money on cash app, or this person might have requested money from you on cash app or something. Our values are too different. There's nothing here coming in. 
But I feel like it's a lot of financial. Here, somebody's maybe constantly asking you for help. All right, this is how they see you. Somebody needs to know that a situation needs to be done together and not separately. Let's take that how it resonates because it is for somebody, okay? That's just some period. What is the next 48 for Gemini, please? Next 48. What's the next 48 for Geminis, please? At this time, angels, Holy Spirit, ancestors, what's this? The message for them. Okay, so at this point, Gemini, you're definitely not happy. Someone is not happy here because you suffered a tragedy here. A lot of memories is coming in. Somebody's kind of reminiscing here. Firestorm. I, I, I'm hearing firestorm. So I really feel like, you know, for some of you guys, you're either dealing with some kind of a karmic situation or karma. Or somebody's either bringing drama or somebody's getting their karma. Because someone ended something. Something is ending or it already has. There's either a major loss. Maybe you suffered a major loss of some sort. Um, this loss is giving me someone feeling mentally drained or, or whatever, very drained here broken for some of you guys or me on a, a mental breakdown what are these memories here next 48 funeral oh something is done something is dead already this twin flame connection is already dead dead and buried that's already dead and buried you guys Wow. Okay. So I feel like it, somebody's either feel like a puppet on a string, like somebody's like stringing you along here. This could be a divine feminine or masculine, however the roles go. But it seems like somebody that you really share something special with at one point in time. It could be a past, present, or future situation that is under pressure here. Anxiety, decisions. I feel like it's time. This time is maybe running out with this divine. Divine masculine or divine feminine. Um, period. Somebody's either trying to protect your energy here and your peace. If this is not you, it's the divine and this could be them. But somebody's protecting themselves from something. Somebody left somebody hanging. Hanging without no closure, no contact, or just left somebody on red here. And now somebody's trying to be a psycho or a psychopath, a loser, crazy as hell, obsessed. And somebody just won't let a situation go. Oh my God. I'm hearing turning back, or there's just no damn turning back. I feel like once you start this journey, this chapter, you just meant to just keep it going because you can't cope. Somebody's either drinking or, or doing something that's very toxic or, or whatever. This is this feels very shocking. But some of you never saw that coming, never knew that was a part of the journey. That somebody was reckless, reckless in love and reckless in sex. Okay, what's this? Clarify that, please. I'm getting self-love and shame here. So I feel like, you know, right now you're trying to take care of you. You're trying to balance yourself out. You're trying to love yourself again. Um, maybe somebody did kind of giving you a, a feeling of not wanting to love you, love on you, and just giving yourself all that love that you can. Maybe you've just totally forgot about yourself. For some of you, you may have just been so invested into your situation that you totally gave up on yourself. Didn't really want to dress up or... Just didn't want to do anything much. Maybe just be in isolation, feeling ashamed of what this person might have done or what they didn't do. Maybe you took on some of the guilt, feeling very un un embarrassed or just in the wrong. Maybe you took a lot of the responsibility of what this person was doing 
and took some of the blame for the disappointment of the relationship or of the situation. But I'm seeing that you're a queen bee here. You're a queen bee. You're secure. You're confident. You're a boss bitch. You're career focused. And you just got to be your own ear at this point. I'm hearing GPS. So somebody's stalking you for sure. That's confirmation. Somebody's stalking somebody here. There's a stalker on the loose. Maybe somebody put a GPS while you're sleeping on your car or at your front door or something. Somebody's watching. Somebody's spying, watching to get evidence on somebody. Their true colors are starting to show. Never even seen this person for who they really is right now. But somebody's like staying in their feelings here. Caught up in their own feelings. Yeah, they are because they, they're getting a reading on you as we speak. They're about to hear some bad news and, 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 and they're about to be fed up and they're about to be pissed off. Mm-mm. Wow. Charles. But it's going to be too late. It's going to be too late for their ass because you're already wised up. Somebody's wised up here. I feel like wishes are coming through. This is what I'm hearing. Wishes are coming through. Dreams are being manifested here. Because now you know that somebody definitely kind of broke your heart here. I'm hearing heartbreak. And I feel like this person wasn't really caring. This could be a third party heartbreak situation here. Where someone kind of put somebody on a love triangle. Or without closure with this situation. Okay, so this is romance, romance and, and a wish. So someone made a wish to be with this person, but somebody is feeling very rejected here because someone has choose to run. I'm, I'm hearing a runner, but this person who's running is saying, okay, I'm busy. It's, and that is a fake. Somebody's saying that I'm busy, but they're, li they're actually lying. They're just saying that because they're presently dealing with other people. They just don't want to be tied up right now. Don't want to be tied up. Don't want to be choked up. They want to be free. They want to be set free. This is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing liar, liar, pants on fire. Somebody's lying. Stone cold lying. Yeah. Fake busy. <laughs> They're faking the funk. Somebody's faking the funk here. Next 48. All right, so, so this person may already be married. Or if they're married to you, they're faking something. They're faking something with other people if this is not you. I'm hearing somebody might have even tried spell work. Somebody tried something, didn't work. Went to a reader. Gave this reader a lot of money. And... I'm hearing somebody might have gotten conned or scammed by this person. So that was a setback. Somebody took a risk, Gemini, and it failed. Still waiting for the clarity that you were searching for when you were gone. Wasting time. <laughs> Look at that. Wasting time, okay? Somebody's wasting time here, feeling very stuck. There was no change, that's for sure. And whatever you would try to get cleared with, it was limited. Fake for fake. I'm hearing fake. Because somebody was dirt digging here. Your next 48 is, is giving me um, obsessive lovers. Somebody's obsessed over you. This is dangerous, though. Dangerous and toxic and unhealthy. Um, possessiveness. So just karma. Or karma. This person is karmic. Dirt digging. Yeah, they're obsessed over you. But they're trying to find dirt on your name. Looking for dirt. Or, or, or whatever. My goodness. I feel like this is a haunting situation here. Where you guys may even be dealing with bankruptcy. Or about to be bankrupt. Or your, you know, your credit is not where it needs to be. Or it should. I'm seeing past bills. Somebody knows about it. They're not interested into that, but they're interested into being creeping and crawling and sneaking. You got to dust it off. 
because somebody is hooked. They're either hooked on you or hooked on phonics, but you're rising from it. Queen rising, stepping into your power, praise, coming up or in spotlight. So you're moving away from this. You're getting to prove on this person because you're going to have to do something about what they're doing. I mean, legal issues, okay? Um, Somebody might have even been married for uh, the wrong reason. It could have been money or whatever. But I've heard that it wasn't really love. Somebody got married for all the wrong reasons here. Now, bad karma is getting on somebody's ass here. And now I'm hearing cop blocking. So somebody's cop blocking somebody <laughs> because of bad karma? <laughs> that ain't shit. Uh-uh, ain't shit going on on that situation. What is this? Somebody's cop blocking somebody here. This could be somebody you know. Somebody's about to hit the jackpot. I see you winning. Because somebody's trying to start some kind of a drama and hope that you would fail, but you're not. Um, you know, something sent back here. There's a drama started that you may know about. But they think you're win you're losing, but you're actually winning. You're winning money. You got rich. You're, you're you know, you're you're in every tense is here. However, that's coming through. Is, are something that is unexpected in the form of money. So, less than highly favored, honey. On um, period. I'm seeing you bossing up or you're meeting somebody that got money here. This person is either rich or stable. They may have, they might own their own business. This person could be a CEO or this person may have a big D-I-C-K-H or something. D-I-C-K, all right? Or just have a big energy. You take it how it resonates. Or this person may have a good uh, chocha. <laughs> okay. I'm seeing you shine here because of this legal matter. So you're going to come out the winner here. You're rising. Your inside scoops is failing here miserably. Um, you're stepping into abundance. You're unbothered by what they got to say. Or you're just uninterested. You're not interested into nothing what these people say. I see somebody being into you, but you're not into them because you're too busy winning. You're too busy traveling. You're too busy doing a lot of things. You're moving. You're buying a house or getting a car and moving into a new apartment. You're just relocating out of misery. Whatever these pers these persons are, this 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 particular person tried to do, uh, it, it never has the facts. Okay? They just kind of make shit up. They don't have no facts on you here. They know the best thing to do is to kiss other people's ass, but you're moving on. You're moving on because you're not dwelling into fake expectations anymore. Okay? You're not doing that. You're hustling. You're making your money. You're making your move. You're not doing girl fights, boy fights, or nothing. You're not dealing with karmic friends. That's a wrap. Fake flexing, drama starting here. You're not dealing with messy, messy relationship. Baby mama, baby daddy, foolishness. You're not talking shit with nobody. You're not thinking about taking nobody's shit. You're just getting ready to build your own shit. And your own stability and your own balance. Next for the eight hours, it's seven. You're definitely rising. You're rising. You're shining. You're rising and you're flowing. While somebody's still there sitting looking all dumb. You ain't got nothing better to do. You ain't got nothing better to do, Gemini. Okay. Wasting damn time. All right, angels, please clarify this thing for the next 48 hours. What's the next 48 hours, please, at this time? What's the next 48? Right, you guys so what you didn't see coming in the back of the deck is the knight of swords um i really feel like someone is really ready to kind of take action um but they're coming towards you very fast here um whatever this knight is coming towards you with um i feel like this person is very opinionated here so they will want to kind of take authority this could be an aquarius 
or a Cancer, or a Virgo, or a Sag. But somebody's coming towards you here to say something. They sure is. The Page of Pentacles is also here. I'll tap into that if I have to and get some more insights on why this decided to come through. Okay, let's talk about your past, your present, and your future here. What's coming towards you that you might not have seen. Now, we do have the High Priestess here. We do have the Two of Swords. We have the Five of Pentacles. Um, the High Priestess in the upright, the Two of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Two of Swords in the upright, in the, in the reverse. And then we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, you guys, okay? Now, the High Priestess, I really feel like, okay, this is what I'm seeing that happen or that you've been dealing with in the past. Um, you have not been using your intuition like you should. You should be using your intuition um, to really kind of guide you. This would have guided you into kind of not really giving a situation all the energy that you might have already given to it. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you just have been dealing with a lot of uncertainties. A lot of things around you that was tapped into indecisions here. Um, dealing with confusions with the two of swords in the reverse. Dealing with false information, promises here. Having you feeling very overloaded here. Or sometimes you either felt very overburdened because of not being able to communicate with this person. Or whatever this could be. But at the end of the day, there was no communication because someone was choosing not to use their intuition wisely. Alright, so now, because of that was the case and that should have been happening here. I'm hearing... Now it's to the point where you find yourself in a rut, right? And now you're trying to pull yourself out of this rut. You're recovering from something. You're recovering from being a broke, recovering from dealing with financial loss. For some of you, this could have been a, a spiritual loss, right? Where you're dealing with poverty here, the five of pentacles in the reverse. Now, what I see happening for you in your present right now, we do have the Four of Pentacles in the upright. We also have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. We also have the Seven of Wands also in the reverse. You guys, this situation is holding on to you for dear life, okay? They want to have control. They want to have power. You're trying to have stability here. You're trying to have security, but you also find this person just holding on to the way that they feel here. And for some of you guys, you cannot have this happen or you cannot be the one who's holding on to this person for dear life, okay? This could be a financial hold where someone is holding on to their possession here and doesn't want to share. And that would be very sad because I feel like you might have needed this person at this point in the past. You might have needed this person to kind of take you out of a, a rut that you might have found yourself in dealing with money or a loss of money or something. And trying to recover and this person wasn't there because they held on to what they had, okay? Um, you know, and right now, based on what I'm seeing here, you might not still be getting the help that you need for this person. And just know this, not because I said help, that doesn't mean that it's a financial help. It could be whatever kind of help that you felt like, you know, this person or whatever is connected to you could have been able to reach out to you and assist you to kind of recover from what you were dealing with. The Eight of Swords in the reverse and the Seven of Wands. Now you have to open yourself to new perspective and release this Seven of this Eight of Swords because it didn't serve you any good. Because only thing it did for you was making you feel very restrained, making you feel like you're on lockdown, making you feel overly stressed out, whatever you were feeling, very out of place, out of pocket, out of mind here. Um. And now, you know, you're really feeling like you're giving up. You want to give up. Um, you know, you're like, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. I'm just lost. I just don't know what to do. I just know the way to turn. I mean, the new year is ending. I'm wearing a new year. And I'm still feeling like I did last year. I don't want to feel like this. I don't want to be this person. I don't want to be overwhelmed. I don't want to be overly protective about what it is that I need over what it is that I really want right now. This is what I'm seeing you're dealing with in your present. Now, just know this, okay? We do have um, in what's coming in towards you here. And I really will tap into this really, really good so you guys can get a good break breakdown of what's coming in. And then I'll tap into that page of Pentacles and why that decided to come through, okay? 
Now we have the Queen of Pentacles, which represents what's coming and what you have not seen yet. And then we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. We also have the Chariot also here in the upright, okay? Now the Queen of Pentacles is a situation where you just want to be um, unbothered. You just want to be homey. You just want to be alone. You just want to be able to think without any kind of a distraction. You just want to be, um, you know, just having your alone time and really kind of take your time out to kind of really evaluate everything around you that might have gone wrong in the past, that might have gone wrong in the present. You're not trying to connect with that anymore. What you're doing is rebuilding a structure. This is where I see you going. This is what's coming in. You want to be able to change a situation. You want to be able to set a foundation straight for some of you guys. All right. Um, you really want a sense of security. It's just all about security right now with the Queen of Pentacles, right? However, because we have the Queen of Cups, that's in the reverse that you didn't see. I really feel like you really have to really be, you know, choose your path carefully because you don't want to have to deal with anything because you're really searching for security. You don't want to have any insecurity coming in towards you on period because it's going to get you in a place here where you feel like you're still giving a situation more of you and you feel like it's not giving back. All right. Um, and it's going to cause you to be very emotional or have an emotional loss or setback or breakdown once again. Um, and being dependent or just dealing with codependency on others or towards others, all right? Now, we also have the chariot. So then again, we have the queen of pentacles. We have the, the four of cups in the, the, we have the queen of cups in the reverse and we have the chariot in the upright. And it's really critical that I explain this chariot, you guys. Um, so that way you'll know what is what to expect when it arrives, all right? Now, the chariot is a, a, is a feeling where you're taking control, okay? You're taking control of your life. You're taking control of the people who you entertain. You're taking control of the way people treat you. You're taking control over what you need, you need right now to start this new year brand new. New beginnings, new chapter, jobs, love, money, everything, right? So now it's all about willpower. It's all about victory. It's all about, um, you know, ascension. It's all about determination. You're going to start this journey and you're going to continue this journey. You're going to keep moving, keep pushing because it's going to happen for you. Now, just know this. This is what you have not seen. Now, what you didn't see is the people who is connected to this chariot outside of your energy, right? Now, these people are moving very, very slowly. So whatever it is that your expectation was, it's coming through that page of pentacles, right? Now, if they're not bringing wealth towards you, then they're moving very slowly. If they're not give, bringing family connections towards you where you're rebuilding situations with family and friends, then they're moving very slowly in the chariot. If they're not giving you some kind of a stability to where you can retire late, later in life or dealing with retirement or dealing with establishments or dealing with great wealth, then that means that person is moving very slowly towards you, okay? It is going to have to be something that's going to bring you love. It's going to bring you light. It's going to bring you joy. It's going to bring you peace. But yet, right now, what you didn't see, what you might have been expecting or where your mindset was trying to figure out if you need to still carry those loads along with you, right now, it is a no. It is a no because your expectation from others right now is not what is coming in. Their situation is coming towards you very slowly. So now it's time for you to pick up the pieces and do what it is that you need to do and what is best for you at this moment, okay? Your next 48 hours is telling me things are changing. It's telling me that you're manifesting your happiness here. You've been practical about your life, the queen of pentacles. You're re-releasing baggages and you're, you, you're entertaining positivity. You're letting go toxicity and you're moving into your higher self, into your higher form. And if that didn't serve you any good, you're not resonating with that anymore. You're letting that go. You're freeing yourself. You're pushing. You're moving, you're walking away from this eight of swords in the reverse. It is done, it is over. You're, you're, you're releasing all of that toxicity and you're getting ready for what is coming in, okay? So this is going to be your next 48, Gemini. And I do hope that it did resonate with you guys. Please do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up. This is how you support your channel. And this is exactly how your channel will grow, okay? So thumbs up your reads. If I get 200 likes on this read, I'll definitely give you a mega tomorrow. 
tomorrow and you guys tell me down in the comment section what read would you like to see me doing next whether it's a 48 whether it's a 24 whether it's a singles or whether it's a no contact or it's an overall read in general let me know what you guys need as long as i have 200 likes on this video you guys will definitely get that tomorrow okay now also, you guys, um, if you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know that you need one. Save it by leaving your initials down below. And if I didn't remember to tell you in the beginning of the video, I'm going to tell you now before I forget. Happy, 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 happy 2024. Okay, let's tap that good energy up in here. Where is it? Where is it? Happy 2024, honey. Okay, we bring positive energy around here. Okay, um, nothing but positivity that's going to come through for this year. Love and joy and light and money and abundance and everything that you always wanted will be added to you. Okay, I love you guys to the moon and stars. Pray for me as I'm always praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye guys.